All right, so it's time for a little update here from Washington. Uh, I've been here for a few days now, and this is where I've got my van parked. I've got a nice little spot here on my friend Josh's property. It's been working out really good. Weather's been mild. I've just been tying up a lot of loose ends and getting geared up for my next job. So I guess it's time to fill you guys in on what that job is. Uh, I did this job a couple years ago. I will be working on a boat in Alaska. Be flying out actually tomorrow. It's been kind of a scramble to get ready for this. I'm gonna be away from my home for a uh, full two months, 60 days. So uh, I'm gonna bring you guys along for the adventure. Uh, there was a little bit of downtime when I get there as far as having any type of cell service or internet. Um, I have to actually set up uh, Alaska specific cell phone line with GCI, that's the server uh, service there. And um, it takes a little bit to be in cell range until we get our boat actually on the water. So I'm gonna try to schedule some videos out so there's not too big of a gap between videos, but I should be coming back to you guys from Alaska once I get there. Um, so yeah, I've been scrambling, tying up a lot of loose ends, and uh, I'm going to continue to do that here. I'm going to try to check back in with you guys in a little bit, sit down and fill you in on some of the details of the job uh, before I actually get there. And then, um, yeah, we look forward to this next chapter in the adventure. Should be fun. All right, well, to give you a little more information on this upcoming job, I am working on a salmon tender boat in Naknek, Alaska. It's in the Bristol Bay area. They do a lot of commercial fishing up there. Um, I did this job two years ago, two summers ago. It's uh, going to be aboard the same boat, same captain, but I believe a different deckhand. It's a three-man crew. We actually live on the boat and work from the boat. And a lot of our duties when we first show up are getting the boat prepped to be uh, seaworthy. It's out of the water up on stilts. So we'll be doing a lot of maintenance, painting the underside of it, patching up anything that needs to be worked on. And then uh, after, I believe, a few weeks, we get the boat in the water and then it takes another week or two before fishing to actually open. So it's not just uh, one task the whole time. It's kind of an evolving process. And, uh, you know, it's interesting to live and work on the boat. So I'm looking forward to documenting it and sharing it with you guys. I didn't do a very good job the last time I worked this with the filming. Um, I was just kind of overwhelmed with the newness of it all. So hopefully going back a second time, I should be a little bit more comfortable with the filming and be able to really give you a feel of what it's like to work this job and to live on a boat for a couple months. <laughs> uh, I'm quite nervous. I really don't like flying. So uh, it'll be nice just to get there and get settled on the boat. And uh, yeah, the next chapter of this adventure. It's quite interesting, very blessed to have these opportunities. I know a lot of people are still out of work, so I feel very uh, blessed to have this set up. So. Anyway, I'm going to continue to get ready here, taking off in a couple hours. Hey. Okay, we're coming down to the last few moments with the van here. I moved over under the car carport here. This is where I'm going to be leaving the van, storing it for two months. Very grateful to have this option. I'm going to get my uh, bags and luggage loaded up into Josh's truck. He's going to give me a lift to the airport, and we're going to continue on this adventure. I am going to miss my little home on wheels, but I think more than anything, I'm just going to miss being on land being able to be in the trees and go on hikes on trails and just dirt in general. Uh, it is challenging for me to be on the boat uh, long term just because of that reason. The living on the boat is pretty easy. It's a lot like van life, um, but just not being able to get off the boat and go for long walks and that is challenging for me, but it makes it all the sweeter when I get back. So I'll just keep the eye on the prize. Okay, this is it guys. We got everything disconnected. I uh, was kind of wondering whether or not I should leave my hood popped. There are squirrels and chipmunks around here, but I'm just going to leave it cracked and uh, just hope for the best. I did sprinkle some more cayenne pepper around. So this is it. The final uh, shutting of the van here. 60 days. I'll be back. Is that it? I think that's it. Goodbye, Dan.
Well, this airport is pretty empty. Check it out. Don't usually see this. Well, I do have a mask that I'm supposed to wear on the plane, but there's kind of no one around me right now, so I'm not gonna wear it till uh, I'm around people. <laughs> In addition to wearing your face mask or covering while on board, please keep it on while passing through the airport. We appreciate your efforts into maintaining social distancing when possible. We want to thank you for flying Alaska Airlines today. We hope to see you on a future flight with us and have a wonderful stay in Anchorage or your travel lines may take you. Alright, I do need to get a COVID-19 screening and test. It looks like we're this way. I am critical infrastructure. With this job, we are considered critical infrastructure, so I gotta go get my COVID test. It is a nasal swab. So I'm gonna stick a Q-tip up my nose, and then after I get the test, I can go to my hotel, and then I also need to do a temp screening in the morning tomorrow, so. Go find this screening center. Let me get a view out here at Anchorage. It's a little cloudy, kind of how it was in Washington. Snow-capped mountains off in the distance. You guys probably can't see that. Anyway, I'm gonna try to make good time here. I'm hungry. I need to get some dinner. So it looked like a few places are open in the airport, but I might call the hotel and see if they have any food there. It is 8 p.m. my time, but it is 7 7 p.m. Anchorage time. It's an hour behind. Um, <laughs> it's not as bad as when it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to use the Donnellings or they're using ours. I'll use the same one. Good. Okay. Yeah. I'll go to sneeze. <laughs> yeah. Woo. All right. That's bad? it. Yeah. No, not too bad. All right. Um, tested. Okay, COVID testing is done. I need to go get my checked bag at the baggage claim. And actually, I should get on the phone right now. I've got a call for a shuttle to get me to the hotel. I believe the hotel is just across the street from the airport. So I'm going to uh, do a little research on my phone real quick. Fortunately, I do have cell service here in Anchorage. Ah, yours are still all plugged up from the, fl the flight. Okay, I had to grab a little cart here for my luggage. Got to go down to door six and they're going to have a shuttle for me. I just called and just had to give them my name and the company. So I'm heading over to door six, find my shuttle. All right, I'm all checked into the hotel. I got some surprising news. I'm gonna have a roommate apparently. They're not here yet. I don't know if it's the other deckhand or who I'm sharing a room with. All right, let's see what kind of room they gave me here. Yeah, it's a double. I guess I'm gonna have a roommate. Well, that's interesting. All right, let's see what we got here. What kind of view. All right, I got the neighbor's house there. Looks like they're cutting some trees down. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get settled in here. I need a shower and I'm hungry. It sounds like I can get some food delivered here. The restaurant is closed, so we'll see what I can come up with. I'm tired and hungry. All right, so I ordered from this Sparta pizza. I got a Philly cheese steak with Swiss cheese and mushrooms and fries. Just gonna have some water with that. I am super, super hungry. I'm about to dig in. All right, well, this is it, guys. The next time I check in with you, I'll be uh, probably coming at you from the boat. 
So uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video, there's going to be a little bit of downtime as far as cell service and internet. So uh, hopefully these vi videos scheduled out will kind of fill in the gaps. And the uh, next time I'll be coming at you is uh, from the boat. So it's going to be interesting. I look forward to sharing the whole adventure with you guys. I really do appreciate y'all following along and I uh, hope you're all doing well out there. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to be signing off here for a little bit. I'm going to continue to film and document and put videos together. So as soon as we have some internet available cell service, I'm going to start uploading again. So look forward to that time. Until then, take care guys. Peace.